Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and it is past time I talk about the hashtag Revive Watchdogs Legion movement. Now, this is a movement that I believe started on Reddit, either Reddit or Discord, and has kind of spread like wildfire throughout the community, and for good reason. Originally, I wasn't going to talk about this because Ubisoft has made it pretty clear that they do not want to support the game. All of the developers have moved on to other projects, and it just seemed like Watch Dogs Legion, besides mod creators, had no support and was pretty much dead. But I think it's good that I use my voice in this community to talk about this and amplify this hashtag. So this kind of really got uh, a lot bigger when Ubisoft Toronto put out a tweet for the two year anniversary for Watch Dogs Legion, which reads, two years of action, adventure, betrayal, and chaos. Happy second anniversary to Watch Dogs Legion. How are you celebrating? And as expected, it completely backfired. I mean, pretty much every single uh, reply to that tweet was talking about how they promised to add features into the game and they just never did it, how they left the game in kind of a buggy state, and how it sucks that they just abandoned the game before we were even able to get a year or two. And while the modding community has been great, I love the modding community, I love modders, we shouldn't have to rely on them to give us features that Ubisoft promised to deliver since day one. I mean, this has just been becoming a trend in the gaming industry over the past few years of developers over-promising and under-delivering. And it, it's really, really frustrating, especially when you pay 60, sometimes even $70. I talked about this in my Call of Duty video that I uploaded last week. We deserve to get a quality product and developers should just stick to their word. If, you were, if you're not gonna add New Game Plus, then don't add it or don't say that you're gonna add it and, and then just leave, leave us to have nothing. The next thing I wanted to talk about is a Reddit post from about 10 months ago talking about kind of the wish list for if Ubisoft were to, you know, by some miracle come back and revive the game, this is what they should add. And it's a pretty long list, so I'm just gonna skim over it, but of course I'll have it linked in the description if any of you wanna check it out. So what this poster says is that in Watch Dogs Legion Online, we need more of an incentive and a reward for doing missions and everything else that has XP. People accompanying you in solo missions should receive some kind of XP or ETO just for helping. Co-op missions or tactical ops should be selectable and not in a playlist. They should add the ability to fast travel to our friends, just like in Watch Dogs 2, which I wholeheartedly agree. I have no idea why they didn't add that. And just a side note, uh, a lot of stuff in Legion, they just just dropped a bunch of stuff that was in the first two games or, or in Watch Dogs 2. And there was really no reason for them to not add it to the game. You know, there's trying to differentiate yourself from your past releases, and then there's just being lazy. They think they should add the ability to toggle friendly fire on and off, like in Watch Dogs 1. You should get XP for clearing out specific enemy hideouts, plus a bonus if you do so undetected. They should increase the player count to at least 8 players for free roam only. Bring back data decryption, bounty hunters, showdown, and open world events such as armored trucks. I agree with that. Add a find new session option in the free roam PvP mode. Add a return to London option as a group or solo after completing a co-op mission. Another section that they have on here is updates to diversity for play as anyone. And I agree, Legion needs more voices. Legion has like five voices. Okay, it's more than that, but not by much. Legion's AI needs a rework to be more realistic. I'm tired of going to a bar, club, protest, etc. Doing a simple emote and then everyone stops what they're doing to look at me. Yes, I think this is extremely unrealistic. I get that you are the protagonist of the game, but you wanna feel like you're in a world with a bunch of other people who are busy, who are doing other things, who don't care about you necessarily, unless they're Albion or, or another DedSec member. The post ends by saying, to wrap things up, it's probably a lot more than I could mention, but you guys get the point. This is the perfect time to go on Twitter and tag Watch Dogs Game and Ubisoft Toronto and Ubisoft with this post and don't forget the hashtag save watchdogs legion i couldn't agree more you know personally i don't believe that this will honestly do anything but it's better than nothing and you know we have to start calling out these developers this is why it's important to say hey you said you were going to do this i spent money on your game with the expectation that you were going to add this feature and you never did it that's just straight up lying you buy a product with the expectation that this feature is going to be added and you just say oh no we're not going to do that or you just don't acknowledge it at all. They haven't acknowledged any of this and it's ridiculous. 
There's also another post with a list of different scrapped content that didn't make it into the game. So I'll be linking that in the description. It's a really good read. I recommend you guys check it out. And yeah, so go on Twitter, go on Instagram, go on Reddit, go on their Discord, call out Ubisoft Toronto. Call out Ubisoft because this is unacceptable. If we're gonna be paying 60, 65, $70 for your game, you better include all the content that you promised. And I'm just about fed up with these developers thinking they can just get one over on us. We work hard for our money. And what, we're just supposed to say, oh, wh whatever, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just accept that. I'm not gonna accept that. So if you agree with me and you want things to change for the better in the gaming industry, go on Twitter, call out Ubisoft and let them know that we do not appreciate this type of behavior. So yeah, that was pretty much all I had to talk about for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you already know about the Revive Watch Dogs Legion movement? Is this your first time hearing about it? Let me know. And as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.